Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rini and this is the Enchanted Planner. Today we are planning my June monthly in my classic vertical, which I use sort of as a catch-all for everything. The reason for the voiceover today is when I went to edit these videos, both this one and my currently page, there is the staticky noise in the background, which hasn't been around for quite a while, at least as far as I am aware. Like I've listened to all of the videos in editing and then again on YouTube and I haven't detected it. So if it's shown up in videos in the last couple of months that, you know, I've missed, please let me know. But it was really bad today and I haven't had it for a while. So there's no explanation. It's just kind of random. It Every once in a while, it decides to rear its ugly head and make a complete mess of my videos. And it's, I don't know, the sound quality was just crap with that static sound running all the way through. And it was through the entire length of this video. So we're going to speed it up a bit and do the voiceover. So I really wanted to recreate a spread I had done for the June monthly in my planner this time last year. Yeah, well, obviously this time last year, like in my, in the same planner <laughs> last year is what I meant to say. So I really like the colors of the oranges and the pinks and the yellows. They're very summer colors to me. So in that case, I pulled out Pastel Tropics, Happy Year, the Summer Sticker Book, and Seasonal Stick Girls because they're so much fun. So I'm just whiting out the lines in between the boxes and the leaves that I've pulled out came out of the Pastel Tropics book. And because we have three boxes to work with at the top and only two at the bottom, I thought we would use the larger pieces first because they pretty much took up the entire two boxes. And then we would adapt for um, the balance up in this left hand corner. Now we're just finding a corner piece. Unfortunately, this corner piece is a slight bit smaller than the rest of the leaves but the was the only one I could make work, sadly. So we're just gonna get this guy laid in here. And then I'm gonna go into the book and I'm gonna grab just a single leaf to break up and fill in that little section. And we're back in the book to grab the single leaf. So I grab the orange leaf just to sort of break it up and additionally transition it to from the larger leaves into the smaller ones. It worked well. Then I just cut off the top of it so the stem was missing so it matched the rest of the leaves. We've moved into the sidebar now. Now I've got this great quote that says sun kissed and this sticker came out of the happy year sticker book and it's like a perfect match for the colors in this spread. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to use a full box, the square box, or if I want to go and put a quote in there. So looking through the Pastel Tropics book, there is a quote in there, but it, it, it brings in a bit of purple. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I decided it was what worked because there was nothing else I could make work. Oh, that sticker I'm pointing out there, it was in, it had silver foil and I tried covering over it in black Sharpie and it didn't work. So I was like, okay, well that was bust. <laughs> so we're just going back now to grab the quote. I'm flipping through because there it is. So we're going to grab the quote. It says, do what makes you happy. And although, like I said, it brings in a bit of purple, the ombre effect matches and complements this spread really well. So now we're up to trying to figure out if I can make all this fit and it won't. So back into the Pastel Tropics book, there is a square box that additionally has those leaves in it and we make it all fit that way. Now that box on the sidebar, I've been using it for either what I want to focus on for that month or if I have projects I want to work on that month because I'm in this monthly every day because this is where I also track sort of what expenses are hitting my bank account and what bills need to be paid. I'm in this in this monthly every day. So it keeps things top of mind when 
I put them in the sidebar. I, additionally, like I track projects as well. For example, on the currently page, I'll put my goals and my projects back there. But I'm not in my currently page all that often because it's literally the last page in the month. I don't reference it all that much, but the monthly I do. So putting my main focus or my main goals or projects in the sidebar works really well for keeping it top of mind. It's kind of like when you have find an affirmation and you, you repeat it over and over and over again, right? Same kind of principle keeps it top of mind. The washi I'm laying in is from Recollections. It's from um, Michael's. They were originally a thick washi and prior to the plan with me to save a bit of time and test it, I wanted to see what it would look like. I took the strips and I cut them down to make them smaller. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use them. But then when I got them laid down, I'm like, I actually quite like this. So we're just going in with the Uniball to get rid of the white lines. So they don't show through the washi tape. And then we're just going to alternate between orange and the yellow and then the, or sorry, yellow and the orange and then orange and the yellow on the other side. The yellow washi is a yellow polka dot and it's super cute washi, like super cute. It's not nearly as punchy, um, when it's been cut as thin like this, but when it's in full form, it's like, this is a dang, dang cute washi. I hope to be able to use it a couple more times over the summer because it's not very often we have cause to use yellow, right? So we're just going to finish laying in the rest of this washi. And then we're going to move to laying down boxes just after we finish whiting out the balance of the little lines underneath my washi because I don't like them to show through. It drives me crazy. My pen kept rolling away from me. I'm like, oh, this this plan with me was a bit funny. It sucks that I have to do a voiceover because I was on point with witty and, you know, awesome con or, uh, chatter. <laughs> it was very witty, witty chatter. But so you get witty chatter this way. So the colored boxes I'm laying in, I believe these came out of the Happy Year sticker book. And... The colored boxes in my monthly I use to denote appointments, um, birthdays, anniversaries, and my new and full moon. As you know, I track the new and full moon every month. And I had to go and look it up because I'm like, is, is it on the 13th or is it on the 14th? It turns out it's on the 14th. So we have both boxes on the same side, which was kind of eh. But then I realized I also have a doctor's appointment on the 22nd. So that little rounded sticker there says summer. And of course, the 21st is when the solstice is this year. So the first day of summer. So I was trying to see if those would work and I didn't like them together. So I'm like, well, we're just going to leave that aside and we'll come back to it later. So I'm pulling black boxes out now from Mojo's book, which I use to denote any bills whether they're debits coming through my account or my credit cards, or if it's something I actually have to pay. This is an idea I scooped off of a lease with plan with a lease because I used to color coordinate all of my boxes on the spread to whatever colors I was using, but my bills used to get lost in the colors. So it's brilliant making the the black the boxes all black because I know by looking at those boxes on those days that's a bill or it's some kind of an expense I've got to take care of or you know be aware of so we're just going to lay in black boxes to denote all of these you know many things that are happening in my account this is this is less than it used to be <laughs> this this monthly used to be full of boxes for expenses it's uh, about half of what it used to be now because I, uh, I trimmed the fat, if you will, on a lot of the stuff that we were paying for that we weren't really we weren't really using or I couldn't justify the money for, right? It's amazing how often, like I highly recommend everybody every once in a while, go and check what you're paying monthly subscriptions to, whether it's a monthly subscription in an app, because a lot, a lot of things have gone to this model of, oh, it's a monthly subscription. It's only $3 a month. Yeah, but if you're not using it, it's a wasted $3 a month. So I went and trimmed a lot of that down because we forget about them. Oh, we got a monthly subscription to this app. We're using it. Then we lose interest, but we forget we're paying for the thing. And that's what they count on. Honestly, they count on us forgetting we're using these things. So in order to not have to put a ton of boxes back after the plan with me, I was only pulling them out in chunks. So, but I needed a few more. So we just went in and grabbed a few more black boxes from Mojo's book. I'm just going to lay them all down. 
And then I'm looking at my monthly from this month to make sure I haven't missed anything just to double check it because I did make myself a list and I had my little sticky notes um, from when I did my planner uh, set up. And then I realized I have a doctor's appointment on the 22nd, which meant I could bring some balance in by using that other filled in colored box on the right hand page. So they weren't all stacked on the left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then I was, I can't remember what I was flipping around for. I think I was on the hunt for another colored box for something, but determined I didn't need it. So these um, leaf strips are out of the Pastel Tropics book. And I've pulled them out because I want to use them sort of as some fun accent washi, but I don't want them the full way they are. So I'm just making them so they look they, they look like they're, you know, coming in and out of the boxes the same as the top and the bottom, which is why we're trimming them off. And then I'm going to cut these in half. And we're going to get double bang for our buck. That's the thing. You cut a sticker in half. You got two stickers for the same price of one. <laughs> and these stickers are expensive. So we're going to maximize our use. So I'm just lining it up with the line on the um, self-healing cutting mat. So I can get it evenly cut down the center. And we're going to lay these in across little places in the spread. Just to sort of fill in the gaps. I'm waiting for the thing to dry and then it stuck to my finger and took everything off anyways. It was a pain in the butt. Okay, so we're going to lay this guy down in this layer up here in the top. And then we're going to lay his friend on the other side. Because it's the perfect length for those little boxes. The double box, I mean, sorry. Then we're going to lay, we're going to figure out one for the, the two. And that one's the, the, the little strip that's left wasn't quite long enough. So I decided to work on some stuff on the other side of the page and make just a smaller one to go across a single box. Because there's a couple of places that needed just a little bit of, just a little bit of leaven. So they were, you know, it was a little bit more filled in and it didn't look so bare in some areas. So we're cutting this one in half as well. And we're going to use these ones on single boxes. Now I'm just whiting out Father's Day, which reminds me, I actually need to go and hunt down a Father's Day sticker to put in that spot. That's the one thing I did forget to do in this spread. So we're just going to take his other little, oh, no, we went for this one first. So now I've pulled out the other full strip and we're going to use this one to create another one to go across the two boxes. I thought this was a really cool way to use them and the overall finished result with this spread, I'm really happy with it. It's similar to last year, which I forgot to show you guys. It's similar to last year, but it's different. And I kind of like it. I like this one better than the one I did last year. And last year's spread was inspired by another planner. And I cannot for the life of me remember who it was. If I can track that down, I will post a link to the original spread from last year. That was the inspiration for all of this. Forgive me. I can't remember who the planner was last year, but it was a great spread. And I was like, whew, I love this. So when I recreated it, she got credit as well. So I'll credit her again because it was her original idea. So we just use that other single piece to fill in the bottom. And now it's time to just get to the last little bit of things. And then we're going to start doing the stick girls. We're going to start laying in our ladies. Laying in the ladies. So I had already pulled out a bunch of the stick girls that I wanted to use. And I've got one with a sun. And we're going to use that summer sticker in the box on the 21st for the first day of summer. And then the next one we lay in is, where did she go? Did I put her back? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I've got some cute ones on here. This one's holding a camera. And that one has got like a pool floaty. I'm just trying to figure out where they best lay. And I like them over top. So I end up moving this one because I don't want the two in the same spot on the spread. And then we are going to put on one. And she has a lovely little red bikini on. 
And then we put that one down there and she's holding cotton candy. And the final one is holding the corn dog. <laughs> so the spread's really cute. I'm really, really happy with it. I had so much, so much fun with this spread. It's unfortunate that I had to do a voiceover on it because of the background static. And I got to figure out why it's intermittently happening because it's driving me crazy. It's fine forever. And then all of a sudden, bam, it just out of nowhere. But that's a wrap, you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. There's about 30% of you that are watching the videos on the consistent that aren't subscribed. It would be great if you would join us. Um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Ciao.